Hello, welcome to my channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is OZ, and for those of you returning, welcome back. Today I want to talk about some things that make you instantly stylish, just because that's all I've been seeing on my, my homepage. So yeah, let's get into it. I don't want to dilly-dally. First things first, I feel like I've talked about this in a million and one of my videos, but I'm being dramatic because I know I haven't. I've talked about it in like two videos. Rills, tooth caps, tooth gems. Like I said, I've mentioned this accessory before and I just think these are super cool. They're fly, they're stylish, they're hot. If you have these, I am you're hot, you're stylish, you're cool, you're fly. Literally like you check all the boxes and please call me. I think this is just a great form of self-expression. I mentioned how I think these would be really big in this year. Like they're gonna be on the rise. We're gonna see lots of people with mouths of silver and gold, tooth caps, tooth gems. It's just a really fun way to experiment and kind of lets people know and see like a kind of like a personalized side to you. Next up, you've got cool hairstyles. I really, 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 really love seeing people that have braids or that have like curly kinky coily hair and i just really love how they use different colors different styles like shaved mohawks bobs really unconventional cuts and i just think it's also another great form of self-expression and i just i just really love seeing the girlies experiment especially with protective hairstyles just i really love seeing other people wear different kind of great styles protective hairstyles so i myself can get inspiration from y'all next up we got head wraps and scarves i love it i think it's amazing i think it's a fun easy way to elevate your style and your outfit even if you're wearing like a simple or quote-unquote basic outfit it really just adds to it and there's so many ways to go about this so I don't personally think there's like a wrong way to do it next up maximize jewelry I talked about this in my last video I love jewelry. I love jewelry. I love jewelry. I love layering but I love rings love bangled stacked rings I'm really having a time, but I really just love, I just love how people accessorize and use jewelry to like tell their story, to give an insight to their person. I especially love when people have like personalized jewelry. I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I wear my African necklace in like almost all my videos, as well as my name necklace, as well as like my single gold bracelet, and then I have my silver anklet, but you can't see it. Okay, next, we have layering clothes. Layering clothes, I envy the people, I don't really envy because being jealous of people is a sin, but I really admire people and adore people who are able to layer their clothes just because like that's something that I lack. This really just adds a dimension to your person and a lot more to your outfit that you're able to play with the fabrics and silhouette of your clothes and your body. I mentioned this before, I struggle to do this. This is, it's not my forte, it's not my strong suit. Give me a couple months, I'm gonna learn because I'm getting my money up, I'm getting my style up, I'm gonna get fly. Y'all are not gonna recognize me in a couple of months. I'm just telling you right now. Like, this is this is me humble. This is me humble. But yeah, I'm gonna be layering like a pro, I promise y'all. Here, can you found this? Okay, you heard it here first. Next up, platform shoes, heeled shoes. If you know me, personally, unpersonally, you know I'm a sucker. Like platform shoes, that's my that's my bread and butter. I love a platform shoe. I love a heel shoe just because I give off tall energy. People talk to me and tell me about, oh you're like five eight, five nine. No. I'm not gonna tell you my height, but I'm when people see me they're like you're short. You're short and I'm like not too much. My mom is six foot. So I feel like I should be living like her fantasy, you get me? Like not her fantasy, her reality. I should be tall like my mom. The reason why I love this is because with platform and like heel shoes, there's just so many styles that you simply can't go wrong. But like when I see the people that have the kind of shoes that I want to get, that should be on my feet, that should be in my closet. I'm just like, ah. 
mental note it really 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 makes me jealous but i'm gonna say it again i i don't get jealous because jealousy is a sin coveting is a sin i admire i i love from afar you know because like in due time in god's timing i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna get my shit. i'm gonna get my stuff thank you next up mix and matching prints textures and fabrics that's delicious and i think a lot more people should do it because i only see that online let me stop lying majorly i see that online this adds a lot to your person and it allows you to play around and add dimensions layers and just overall have fun with your style and your clothing there's just something that i truly love about seeing people being able to tap into their different fabrics various styles when i meet someone that's able to do that just gives me inspiration with the things that i have in my closet because like you know whenever you're you're in a rut you're like bro i have nothing to wear but you have a closet full of clothes that's me every single time my friends and my roommates are like oh let's go out i'm like i have nothing to wear but it really forces you to like think outside of the box when you're able to mix and match. So yes, I think people that are able to do that effortlessly, they just do it without a thought. You're stylish to me. And I thank you for your service. Pants, jeans is number eight on the list. Wanna know why? Every single time I talk about fashion, clothes, anything, I talk about pants and jeans. I might be lying because I don't always talk about them, but I feel like I do. I desperately, I desperately want more pants and jeans because I'm a skirt girly only because since I have a tiny petite non-existent waist wearing jeans it's such a hassle because my butt is so big and my thighs are big like I have like a tiny top big bottom right so like pants don't fit me normally I'm a size like between a size 8 to 12 depending on where I shop right but it's always a hit or miss pants are just so difficult for me but I desperately want to get into more pants and jeans especially like the cool jeans and seeing people with like gradient colored jeans or like different style jeans and pants i love it i think you're such a cool person especially if they fit you well they go with a lot of things in your wardrobe which most jeans do and i personally just need at least like five pairs like five is not a crazy number and that will just let me step out if you have cool jeans if you have crazy funky like statement jeans it will take you far in this like people will be like yo did you see her pants they were cool that's exactly what i need i want people to talk about my pants thank you next up nails oh my god i haven't got my nails done in literally years but i have a good reason because the last time i got my nails done my freaking finger nail broke off in half so i'm like a little scared but anyways let's get back into it when the girlies the baddies have their nails done but like i'm not talking about like a normal french tip or just like a, a really like a neon color i mean like when they take inspiration from like anime or movies and tv shows or like an aesthetic picture and they have that concept on their nails are you are you are you picasso like your brain is so big like what i love 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 seeing people with nails like when you would go to the store and you're like giving them their card talking about oh your total is like 23 72 and then like your nails and i'm like Ugh. Thank you. Like, I'm always drawn and enamored with people who have like stunning, cool, edgy, different kinds of nail styles. Even if you're bumming it, your fit does not bang, you look homeless, but your nails are done, people are finna still compliment you. Today's not your day. Give you two, like, Saturday, you finna step out, and I'm gonna be like, I saw it. I saw the potential. Okay, next up would be makeup. Like, I don't know if y'all could tell i tried to do a little but i don't really do eyeshadow the makeup artists people that love doing makeup and that do like really dreamy sultry different kinds of eye looks and makeup looks i really love y'all because it inspires me you inspire me a no eyebrow look with like a crazy eyeshadow inspiration i want to have the confidence to do that because like i just think that i'm not the best at my makeup anytime i try something different and i automatically don't like it i'm like i'm not going out when i see people with like different makeup looks i just salute you i think you guys are so stylish so cool and so so out there like i need i need to get like y'all that's that's really how i be feeling funky hats i want to start 
start wearing more hats, like fur hats, beanies, like the knitted crochet hats, mohair hats, all of it, right? I think that people that wear hats, especially the funky hats that I mentioned before, they're super stylish and it just adds to your outfit. It's a great way to accessorize without thinking or doing too much. I want and I need to see more hats. You are stylish if you got funky hats on your head. Sweaters and cardigans. I'm not a sweater girl. I'm not a cardigan girl. But the people that be wearing sweaters and cardigans, y'all got it. Y'all really got it. Especially like the mohair ones or like the really big oversized ones. I love it. Especially since spring is coming up. It's a great way to stay warm and stylish, right? When it's like not too cold and not too hot. So it's like in the middle. I just really, really, really love seeing people incorporate it into their daily wardrobe, their styles, everyday styles. And I'm just such a fan of it. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I want to become a sweater slash cardigan girly. Glasses and sunglasses, like prescription glasses and then sunglasses for the way the sun. Especially when you wear like your everyday glasses, your prescription glasses, but it's like your oversized, chunky, out there, obnoxious glasses music to my ears it literally like it feeds my soul i love it so much adds a je ne sais quoi a little bit of pizzazz more people should do it prescription glasses because it's just the wave like i want people to be like damn she's stylish even when i'm not even trying i just want my accessories i want my clothes to speak for me you know and then the same goes for like sunglasses i love the oversized look i even like the slim look adding sunglasses to your outfit i do that a lot with my outfits as you can see i'm wearing my sunglasses i feel like in my past few videos i've been wearing sunglasses and I've been wearing them in the nighttime. It's literally just for shits and gigs. I need to learn how to do my makeup so when I can wear them like on my face. But till then, it's just gonna be on my head. It's, it's just for accessories. Next up, second to last item is going to be personalized bags. I talked about this in a previous video. I'm just talking about all my videos. Y'all need to watch my videos if you want to. Personal bags. I just think it's just something so cool, so awesome about personalizing a bag that you wear and take with you everywhere. I just love how people accessorize this, adding charms, pins, keychains, bows and ribbons, and just whatever it is, just adding like a bit of themselves to their bags. This is something that I personally want to do because I think it's just a super fun and easy way to showcase your personality, and there's just no wrong way to go about it because it's like like you're personalizing your bag. It's just personal to you. Lastly, and certainly not least, is colorful tights and like silly, frilly, soft, funky socks, right? It adds to your outfit. Fun like period. Especially during the winter and fall seasons because when I'm wearing skirts and dresses and things like that, wearing like tights, especially like colored tights, printed tights, it really just adds to your outfit and gives that level of, gives that level of warmth, that protection because so you don't catch pneumonia out here. And then on top of that, wearing socks and intentionally that are like meant to be seen. I I really, really admire the people that wear like the unconventional, uh, silly, funky socks. I think socks and ties are some things that just make you instantly stylish. Draws attention to you and I'm like, oh, she took time. She meticulously put this on and it was like, this is a fit. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. I eat it up. And that's the end of the video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it to the end. What do you think makes another person stylish please like let's start the conversation i don't want to feel like i'm talking to myself like do you hate me please let me know your thoughts and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see y'all next time